Hey guys, so today I just want to make a very quick video showing how you can go ahead and root your uh, Galaxy Nexus and unlock the bootloader and do whatever the hell you want to do with it uh, because there's a pretty good uh, program out there if you want to do all of those cool things so there's an awesome post about this uh, first of all if you, if you want to do it yourself if you are running on the LTE version from Verizon or the GSM version uh, doesn't really like matter because it's compatible with both uh, and it's a guy called M skip that uh, on the X8 developer forum have been writing an awesome uh, thread about this about like everything you need to know um, and we're gonna use his go uh, Galaxy Nexus toolkit version 3.0 right now uh, because as you can see it's awesome you can do like everything with it, it it's insane uh, and you also have the link over there to the LTE version of his toolkit uh, but I mean I seriously suggest that you go ahead and read many of these things first thing you want to do and need to do is install the these drivers for ADB and fastboot um, so you can communicate um, from your computer um, to your Galaxy Nexus uh, and you know installing those drivers all of the instructions on how you do that for both 32-bit 32-bit uh, and 64-bit uh, they are uh, here uh, so that's kind of sweet uh, and they use a program and yeah we're gonna use a program called uh, PDA net there are probably more uh, programs that you can go ahead and use uh, but uh, I mean, I can just show you. If I just connect this right here, right now, uh, like my USB cable, you see that that program, because I've installed the drivers, uh, you can see there, uh, device attached, click here to connect PDA. And also now when I go into my device manager, you will see a new thing uh, after you have installed the drivers. And that is basically, if you go ahead and go up here, you will basically see that we have Samsung Android or Android phone, Samsung Android ADB interface. Uh, but I mean, all of the instructions are there. You should be able to follow them. And if, if you do now have any problems with the drivers, uh, there are, you know, he makes some notes here. If you have still have problems, you can try other ways. Uh, and then we're going to use the Galaxy Nexus toolkit. So this is like a 35 megabyte download. Um, and when you download it, uh, you will use that. Like, like double click on the, the download of fa file and then you will just click on unzip and the default uh, location where it will unzip to is your C drive in a folder called Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. Now uh, this program is awesome. Uh, now one thing also you want to check on your phone here is you want to check what kind of version you are running on. So you just go into settings uh, and then go down, go to about phone. Uh, you will see I'm running an Android with 0.1, but you also want to uh, take a note here of the build number you're running. So I'm running on the ITL. 41F, um, so that's good. We know that now. Uh, so what you want to go ahead and do right now is boot into fast, uh, fast boot mode. That's kind of like clockwork mode, uh, but you know you can do things over there like restart the phone and everything. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show you when I root my phone over here. Uh, so I'm gonna start off by disconnecting it. Gonna turn it off. And then we're gonna hold down the volume up and down buttons, and uh, while I'm holding, you know, the power on button. Okay, there we go. So uh, now, when we are inside here, we can just uh, connect the cable again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that pretty quick. Okay, there we go. Device attached. That's awesome. Um, so what we're gonna want to go ahead and do right now uh, is just uh, run this file called run me bat that you will get in this Galaxy Nexus toolkit folder. So go ahead and run that. Now you get a ton of information here, but most of those things are things that he's already been writing about. That first you need to install the fastboot drivers, and as you see, you know you will see that in the device manager. You you should see that new device uh, and uh, everything. But you know, just go ahead and read everything if you aren't really uh, sure uh, about something so just click enter here uh, and also here again uh, make sure 
uh, ADB drivers install and then that you boot into fast boot mode and then that you have the USB or that you plug in the USB cable and then that you also should see the serial number of your device uh, on the top here in the main menu of this program so after you finish there uh, here is where you need your bill number and as you can see uh, we checked my bill number I was running on 4.0.1 uh, the ITL 41F uh, the Yaku version the GSM model and then we need to uh, tap on 2 or just type 2 uh, okay so here we can see everything that we can go ahead and do unlock our bootloader and you root your phone and as you can see you only need to root your phone like this uh, only need it if not flashing a custom ROM so if, if you are flashing a custom ROM then it will already have like root um, you can do a ton of things here and it's just you know one click stuff um, so let's just go ahead and unlock uh, my bootload and then just try to root it uh, so I'm just gonna tap one here and then they are gonna ask you make sure you're just gonna type in yes Okay, now this thing will pop up. Do you want to unlock your bootloader? Uh, blah, blah blah. If you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating system software. Custom OS is not uh, subject to the same testing. Blah blah. Uh, okay, so yes, unlock the boot bootloader. May void your warranty. Okay, wait a sec. Okay, there we go. And then tap. Okay, there we go. That was, that was uh, pretty pretty basic and simple. Now, let's see here. Uh, okay, so it, sh it should be unlocked. We, sh we should have an unlocked bootloader right now. Um, and that was kind of simple. Uh, now, uh, if we just go ahead and go back over here, uh, we can go back try to root my phone um, oh yeah flash uh, clockwork mod recovery that's kind of good to have or you know so we can install custom ROMs and everything uh, so let's try four I assume are you sure you want to continue yes okay flash completed very very simple and everything so let's go ahead and try to boot into clockwork mode uh, or recovery mode uh, and see if uh, it will be running There we go, so now we have it uh, up and running uh, Clockwork mod, so now we can go ahead and do all of these things, install say from SD card and everything So I mean guys, that, that's basically how you go ahead and root it and you know, fix with the bootloader and everything and now, okay there we go, Android ADB interface, okay awesome So yeah that's basically how you go ahead and root it and unlock the bootloader and root the phone but as I said there uh, you only need to do it if you're flashing uh, a custom ROM um, so yeah awesome see you guys